Happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the weekend wrap-up. We hope you had a fantastic 4th of July weekend. Uh, I enjoyed it. I don't know about this guy, but let's get right in. Topic number one we want to discuss is Pokemon released a new trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which gave us some more insight on some new mechanics that are in the series. Brian, I know you watched it. Tell them about it. Yeah, so the main main thing to learn from this new mechanic, or this new trailer, is a mechanic called Gigantamaxing. It's like Dynamaxing on steroids. It's the next level to Dynamaxing. Uh, only certain Pokemon can do this, mm -hmm. and you can only catch those Pokemon in max raid battles. Interesting. So it seems like it'll be restricted. It seems like the most powerful thing you can be doing in this game until they reveal what would the next tier be. Super Mega Ultra Dynamic Maxing. I don't know. Yeah, so that might be what we'll be talking about next Monday. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, some people are upset about this because it seems like they're recycling old mechanics such as Mega Evolving and Z moves. But uh, I trust Nintendo. I trust Pokemon that they'll make this a little different and it won't disappoint the fans. So that's topic number one. On to the second. Second topic from over the weekend was there's a new trailer for Destiny 2 Shadow Keep, which will eventually come out September 17th. This trailer took players onto the moon and underneath the moon's surface to a mysterious citadel. Brian, what the heck's going on here? Yeah, so that mysterious citadel seems to be the, the main location, central location for Shadow Keep, the new expansion for Destiny mm -hmm. 2, as you mentioned. There's some sort of uh, enemies awakening underneath the moon's surface. We don't know that much yet. What is super interesting here is this is kind of our return to the moon. Yep. The moon was a very iconic and integral location in the first Destiny. You just kept going back. And I remember going under the moon's surface. I guess we must have missed these bad guys or they must have still been asleep. I don't know. But you kept going back to the moon again and again. This time, the moon is looking way spookier and way creepier. It this, sure does. This new trailer had a really, really interesting vibe. Maybe it's just because we spent all weekend watching Stranger Things. I was going to say the same. It gave me a real Stranger Things vibe. Yeah. Like in the initial trailer a while ago, the actual you know service turned upside down and you saw underneath. But uh, this looks really cool. As I said earlier, it comes out September 17th. Uh, really looking forward to this one. On to topic three. More news on Borderlands 3. They have the next game that is following in the footsteps of Apex Legends, and they will have a ping system in the game. Yeah, this is super exciting news. The ping system was huge for Apex Legends. This is really exciting for people that want to play a co-op game like this, but, you know, maybe they don't have a mic, maybe it's late at night, maybe you're sharing a room, whatever. So it'll be really great for the Borderlands players everywhere. And uh, looking forward to Borderlands 3 coming out. Uh, what's the date on that one? September 13th for all major systems, not Nintendo Switch, of course. Um, but yeah, this looks really exciting. Pink system is huge. Every game that comes out these days has to have it. That's just my opinion. But uh, Borderlands 3, going to be big. That's all the stories that we thought were big enough to make the weekend wrap-up. Did we miss anything? Did you guys see anything else that we didn't mention here? Let us know down below. Tell us on Moot. Moot's pretty dope. And make sure to check us out every week. We got brand new content all the time. So without further ado, see you in the Teamfight Tactics Lounge on Moot. That's where I'll be. Yeah. See you there.